back to my channel okay first we're going in with some facial spray spray um and i'm gonna miss my my face with that and we're gonna go straight into my brows um today's look is like a 90s inspired look you know the whole matte thing ordeal with the matte lip so i'm a 90s i'm an 80s baby but i love the 90s so you know, their whole makeup vibe and how they used to, you know, do their makeup and the clothes they wore. You know, that kind of stuff, like, is still in me to this, like, to this day. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, first we're going to start off with the brows. And I'm using the brow pencil from Essence. I got it from Ulta Beauty. And we're going to just go in and fill in my brows. Yeah. After we fill in my brows, I'm gonna go in with this NYX um, concealer and I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade and I'm gonna clean up under my brows. And then after I clean up under my brows with this concealer, then I'm gonna go in with the Sephora um, concealer um, stick and I'm gonna clean up the top of my brows with that. Cause I thought it kind of matched my skin tone, but it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, my complexion. So yeah, that's what I'm going to clean up the top of my brows with. I normally don't do that, but since my brows were kind of looking funky, so I had funky, not the other word, funky. So I had to clean it up at the top as well. After I get through cleaning up my brows, I'm going to take the light concealer that I use to clean up under my brows with, and I'm going to use that as my eyelid primer. And I'm going to put that all over my eyelid and blend it in. And then that's it for the eye primer. After that is blended in, I'm going to go in with this Revolution palette from Ulta. And I'm going to go in with that dark shade right there. And I'm going to pack that in my crease with a packer brush. And then after I do that, I'm going to take uh, another color that is like uh, a shade lighter than that dark color I'm packing in my crease. As you can see right here, that shade. And I'm going to use that to help me blend out the edges of that color I packed in my crease. After that is on um, blended, I'm gonna go in with that lighter shade right there, and then I'm gonna put that on my lid.
Dr. Davis done, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Um, eyeliner, jumbo eyeliner, eye cold pencil, Lord. And then I'm gonna um, line my top um, lash line with that. I'm not gonna do a wing, it's just gonna be just a, a line across my lash line. Because back in the 90s, you really didn't see a lot of people wearing wing liner or anything of that nature. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with the Ico pencil. Afterwards, I'm going to go in with that lighter shade right there beside the shade that I used to pack in my crease and I'm going to use it as my brow bone highlight. Okay, so the same thing I did on that eye, I'm going to do in this eye and it's going to be to you like that. Hey, and then I'm going to use this um, e.l.f. mascara and I'm going to um, put apply that on my top lashes. I did not apply mascara on my bottom lashes, so yep, that's what I did. After I do that, I'm gonna get these eyelashes from that I purchased from Amazon, and I'm gonna apply some glue. I use Duo eyelash glue to apply my lashes, and I'm gonna put that the glue on my lashes and let them get tacky. Then after that, I'm gonna go in with this Becca Cosmetics um primer, and I'm gonna use that on my skin to give me like glow or that glow that I need that it that it needs. And um, I'm gonna apply that all over my face. my primer is applied then I'm gonna go in with those lashes and I'm gonna apply the lashes to my eyelash <laughs> gonna go in with some eyelash primer but I'm using it as on my brows to help my brows stay in place and so that's what I'm using on my brows to help them not move and help the color stand in place and not just rub off when somebody touch my eyebrows and after that I'm gonna go in with this naked urban decay naked on um, foundation and I'm going to apply that all over my face Right now, it was looking kind of orange, but when it oxidizes, it'll be my perfect skin shade.
going in with that same Sephora concealer stick and I'm going to use that as my under eye highlight as well as down the bridge of my nose and on my chin as well. concealer from NYX and I'm also going to put that up under my eyes to give it a little more brightness as well as down the bridge of my nose and my chin. Afterwards, I'm going to use this Sasha Buttercup um, setting powder and I'm going to use that up under my eyes and my chin and the bridge of my nose. After that, I'm going to go in with this Black Radiance Contour Palette, and I'm going to take the darkest shade in there, and I'm going to use that as my contour. But first, I'm going to go in with this Setting Powder from um, Maybelline Fit Me, and I'm going to use that as um, my powder for the powder my face with.
is blush from black radiance um and i'm gonna use that on my cheeks After the blush is applied, I'm going to go back in with that Black Radiance on um, contour palette and I'm going to use the highlighter that's in there and I'm going to put that on the highest points of my cheeks. Now for the blush, I forgot the name of the blush, but if you really want to know, just drop a comment in the comment section and I will let you guys know what it is. After that, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. setting spray and I'm gonna set my face with that. Then I'm gonna go back in with that Revolution palette and I'm gonna take the same color that I packed up under my, in my crease, I'm gonna use that to smoke out my lash line as well. going to go in with this eye cold pencil and I'm going to line my lips with that and then I'm going for like a matte lip so a matte brown lip so that's what I'm going to be doing so I'm going in with this and lining my lips and then I'm going in with the lipstick that is um from the beauty supply store yes I get some stuff from the beauty supply store and um uh, I'm gonna put that on my lips I don't forgot the name of it, but, you know, I can go back and look it up and I'll put it in the description bar if anybody is interested in knowing what color that is I put on my lips. All right, this is the finished look for the video. Um, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe share if you care and i appreciate all the new followers welcome 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 and y'all take it easy have a blessed day bye